Hey, it's Colleen here. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. It's uh, nice to talk to you today. I'm working on my uh, tech specs for doing uh, these how-to posts, and I'm having a little trouble mounting my camera, as you see here. We're <laughs> amateur night here in the studio. But I thought I'd give you a look at, at how tone sheets are applied. I know some of you are a little confused by that. This is an original page from a distant soil. And uh, this is mounted on top of my light box, as you see. I've got it taped down here with my little drafting dots. And I'm applying tone sheets. Tone sheets are manufactured uh, little bitty dots of screens that make special effects. They make... Uh, all kinds of different things that you can use in your art. You can even get prefab backgrounds. Uh, I rarely use anything like the prefab backgrounds, but I do like to use the special effects. It's hard to see here on this uh, video, but this page is uh, a page full of uh, shiny little star effects, which I'm going to apply in some of these areas on this, this page of a Distant Soil Original Art. It's a super easy process, but I'll be the first to admit that it is also a really tedious, time-consuming process, especially uh, on a page like this. You can't see it on the video, but this is a large double page spread. And putting the tones on a page of this size, cutting them out one by one and applying them with my little exacto knife here can take hours for an individual page. You can see it's not rocket science, but when you get into these little nooks and crannies of areas, it can <laughs> really take a while. Uh, it's very, very, uh, uh, very, very dull going. Uh, used to have an assistant do this all the time, but now I do it all myself. If you want to get deleter screens, uh, I highly recommend them. They're acid free. They don't yellow or break apart over time the way most of the American screens do. You can go to the Deleter website and order them. Even if you pay to get them imported all the way from Japan, they usually cost less than they do if you buy them from American stores, uh, even with the international shipping. They're just much, 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 much cheaper. I like the quality of them. I like the variety. They look good. Like I said, most people usually do this sort of thing by computer these days, but uh, I still like doing it by hand. Um, all of the original art uh, tones uh, on a distant soil are done by hand. They look slightly different than they do uh, done by computer. And I like my art to look consistent no matter what. So um, I'm going to keep doing them by hand until the bitter end of the series and uh, it's harder it takes longer it makes the original art look really nice though and I think it I think it's an attractive look I think it prints well you can just barely see how these stars are coming out uh, on the art here they'll print deeper uh, in the final version that's how tones are done um, it's it's like I said it's not rocket science but cutting all this stuff out and pasting it down uh, getting it to stick. It's it's really quite tedious. It can it can take a while. Uh, an easy page might take 15-20 minutes and a hard page can can take several hours. Uh, you need nothing but an exacto knife and a light box and uh, that's all there is to it. Okay, thanks for stopping by.